Welcome to Google I.O. AI is having a very busy year. We have an opportunity to make AI even more helpful. We are taking the next step in Gmail with Help Me Write. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit Create, and a full draft appears. It conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. Maybe you want to refine it further. In this case, a more elaborate email might increase the chances of getting the refund. <laughs> Help me write, we'll start rolling out as part of our workspace updates. And just like with Smart Compose, you will see it get better over time. The next example is maps. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. With immersive view for routes, now you can. Click on immersive view for routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful ride. You can also check today's air quality. Looks like AQI is 43, pretty good. Immersive view for routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year, including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco. Another product made better by AI is Google Photos. Using a combination of semantic understanding and generative AI, you can do much more with a new experience called Magic Editor. Let's have a look. It looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic editor <laughs> automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. You can punch up the sky. It changes the lighting in the rest of the photo so the edit feels consistent. It's truly magical. We are excited to roll out Magic Editor in Google Photos later this year. We are ready to announce our latest Palm model in production, Palm 2. We are announcing over 25 products and features powered by Palm 2 today. We have affectionately named them Gecko, Order, Bison, and Unicorn. Gecko is so lightweight that it can work on mobile devices, fast enough for great interactive applications on device, even when offline. That's why I'm pleased to announce that it is now available in preview we are rapidly evolving BARD. It now supports a wide range of programming capabilities, and it's gotten much smarter at reasoning and math prompts. As of today, it is now fully running on Palm 2. BARD can now collaborate on tasks like code generation, debugging, and explaining code snippets. BARD has already learned more than 20 programming languages. And for fun, I thought I'd see if I can program a move in Python. How would I use Python to generate the scholar's mate move in chess? Here, Bard created a script to recreate this chess move in Python. And notice how it also formatted the code nicely, making it easy to read. Could you tell me what chess.board does in this code? Now, this is a super helpful explanation of what it's doing and makes things more clear. How would I improve this code? OK, let's see. There's a list comprehension, creating a function, and using a generator. Those are some great suggestions. Now, could you join them into one single Python code block? OK, now Bard is rebuilding the code with these improvements. We're bringing in the powers of Lens to Bard. You might upload an image and ask Bard to write a funny caption about these two. Now, Lens detects that this is a photo of a goofy German Shepherd and a golden retriever. And then Bard uses that to create some funny captions <laughs> with Adobe Firefly. You'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in Bard. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. How amazing is that? This will unlock all kinds of ways that you can take your creativity further and faster. We are removing the wait list and opening up BARD to over 180 countries and territories. Beyond English, starting today, you'll be able to talk to BARD in Japanese and Korean. 
and we're pleased to share that we're on track to support 40 languages soon. From the very beginning, Workspace was built to allow you to collaborate in real time with other people. Now, you can collaborate in real time with AI. Every business, big or small, needs to hire people. A good job description can make all the difference. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. Starting next month, trusted testers will be able to try this and six more generative AI features across workspace. And later this year, all of this will be generally available to business and consumer workspace users via a new service called Duet AI for Workspace. Search has been our founding product from our earliest days. So let's start with a search for what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches. Now, search does the heavy lifting for you. What you see here looks pretty different, so let me first give you a quick tour. You'll notice a new integrated search results page, so you can get even more out of a single search. There's an AI-powered snapshot that quickly gives you the lay of the land on a topic. Then if you want to dig deeper, there are links included in the snapshot. You can also click to expand your view, and you'll see how the information is corroborated. So you can check out more details and really explore the richness of the topic. Let's say you're searching for a good bike for a five-mile commute with hills. In the AI-powered snapshot, you'll see important considerations like motor and battery for taking on those hills, and suspension for a comfortable ride. Right below that, you'll see products that fit the bill, each with images, reviews, helpful descriptions, and current pricing. Right under the snapshot, you'll see the option to ask a follow-up question or select a suggested next step. Tapping any of these options will bring you into our brand new conversational mode. In this case, maybe you want to ask a follow-up about e-bikes. So you look for one in your favorite color, red. Without having to go back to square one, Google Search understands your full intent and that you're looking specifically for e-bikes in red that would be good for a five-mile commute with hills. Craft the perfect social post to show off your new wheels, or even test your knowledge on bicycle hand signals. This new search generative experience, also known as SGE, will be available in labs, along with some other experiments. And they'll be rolling out in the coming weeks. If you're in the US, you can join the waitlist today by tapping the labs icon in the latest version of the Google app or Chrome desktop. Duet AI for Google Cloud. It can provide you contextual code completion, offer suggestions tuned to your code base, and generate entire functions in real time. Generative AI makes it easier than ever to create new content, but it also raises additional questions about its trustworthiness. That's why we're developing and providing people with tools to evaluate online information. Have you come across a photo on a website or one shared by a friend with very little context, like this one at the moon landing? With our About This Image tool in Google Search, you will be able to see important information such as when and where similar images may have first appeared, where else the image has been seen online, including news, fact checking, and social sites. All this providing you with helpful context to determine if it's reliable. This year, we're combining Android's guided customization with Google's advances in generative AI, so your phone can feel even more personal. My photos. And I really like this photo of my daughter, so let me select that. And you'll notice there's a sparkle icon at the top. So if I tap that, I get a new option for cinematic wallpaper. Boom. OK. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth 
and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. So both cinematic wallpapers and emoji wallpapers are coming first to Pixel devices next month. One of our more popular products is the Pixel A series. It delivers incredible Pixel performance in a very affordable device. Let me show you the newest member of our A series. We're completely upgrading everything you love about our A series with the gorgeous new Pixel 7a. Like all Pixel 7 series devices, Pixel 7a is powered by our flagship Google Tensor G2 chip, and it's paired with 8 gigabytes of RAM, which ensures Pixel 7a delivers best-in-class performance and intelligence. And you're going to love the camera. The 7a takes the crown from 6a as the highest-rated camera in its class, with the biggest upgrade ever to our A-series camera hardware, including a 72% bigger main camera sensor. Pixel 7a is available today, starting at $499. And you can check out the entire Pixel 7a lineup on the Google Store, including our exclusive coral color. Next up, we're going to show you how we're continuing to expand the Pixel portfolio into new form factors, like foldables and tablets. Pixel Tablet is the only tablet engineered by Google and designed specifically to be helpful in your hand and in the place they are used the most, the home. A beautiful 11-inch high-resolution display with crisp audio from the four built-in speakers. A premium aluminum enclosure with a nano ceramic coating that feels great in the hand and is cool to the touch. The world's best Android experience on a tablet powered by Google Tensor G2 for a long-lasting battery life and cutting-edge personal AI. For example, with Tensor G2, we optimize the Pixel camera specifically for video calling. And with Pixel tablet, you are always in frame, in focus, and looking your best. Typing on a tablet can be so frustrating. With Pixel Speech and Tensor G2, we have the best voice recognition, making voice typing nearly three times faster than tapping. We engineered a first of its kind charging speaker dock. <laughs> Woo! When it's docked, the new hub mode turns Pixel Tablet into a beautiful digital photo frame, a powerful smart home controller, a voice activated helper, and a shared entertainment device. With the ultra-fast fingerprint sensor, I can quickly unlock the device and get immediate access to all my favorite Android apps. Pixel Tablet is also the ultimate way to control your smart home. And that starts with a new redesigned Google Home app. It looks great on Pixel Tablet, and it brings together over 80,000 supported smart home devices. With the new home panel, any family member can quickly adjust the lights, lock the doors, or see if a package was delivered. Pixel Tablet makes switching between users super easy, so you get your own apps and your own content while maintaining your privacy. It is so easy to move content between devices. Pixel Tablet is the first tablet with Chromecast built in. We designed a new type of case for Pixel Tablet that solves the pain of flimsy tablet cases. It has a built-in stand that provides continuous flexibility and is sturdy at all angles. The case easily docks, you never have to take it off to charge. The new Pixel tablet comes in three colors. It is available for pre-order today and ships next month starting at just $4.99. Every Pixel tablet comes bundled with the 129 charging speaker dock for free. <laughs> Introducing Google Pixel Fold. It combines Tensor G2, Android innovation, and AI for an incredible phone that unfolds into an incredible compact tablet with a familiar front display that works great when it's folded. And when it's unfolded, it's our thinnest phone yet and the thinnest foldable on the market. We had to pack a flagship level phone into nearly half the thickness, which meant completely redesigning components like the telephoto lens and the battery and a lot more but Pixel Fold has three times the screen space of a normal phone. You unfold it, and you're treated to an expansive 7.6-inch display 
that opens flat with a custom 180 degree fluid friction hinge. We've extensively tested the hinge to be the most durable of any foldable. Pixel Fold gives you entirely new ways to take stunning photos and videos with Pixel Camera. Dual screen interpreter mode. Your Pixel Fold can use both displays. Both displays. To provide a live translation to you and the person you're talking to. So it's really easy to connect across languages. Powering all of this is Google Tensor G2. And the entire foldable experience is built on Android. Now, the scenery is really beautiful. So I want to show you on the big screen. I just open my phone, and the video ex instantly expands into this gorgeous full screen view. We call this feature continuity, and we've obsessed over every millisecond it takes for apps to seamlessly adapt from the small screen to the larger screen. I'm going to message my buddy about getting back out on the mountain. I can just swipe to bring up the new Android taskbar, then drag Google Messages to the side to enter split screen mode like so. And to, to inspire my buddy, I'm going to send them a photo so I can just drag and drop from Google Photos right into my message like so. And thanks to the new Jetpack drag and drop library, this is now supported in a wide variety of apps from Workspace to WhatsApp. Here's the new split keyboard for faster typing. And if I pull down from the top, you'll notice the new two-panel shade showing both my notifications and my quick settings at the same time. And if I swipe up into Overview, you'll notice that we now keep the multitasking windows paired. And for example, I was working on a Google Docs and Slides earlier to prep for this keynote. I could even adjust the split to suit the content uh, that I'm viewing. And you know, working this way, it's like having a dual monitor uh, set up in the palm of my hand. The Pixel Fold is also an awesome entertainment device. And YouTube is just a really great showcase for this. So let's start watching this video on the big screen. Look what happens when I fold a device at right angles. YouTube enters what we call tabletop mode. So Pixel Fold has this new button on the bottom right. So I'm going to tap this, and it means I can move the viewfinder to the outside screen. So let me turn the device around. And that means I can get a high-quality, ultra-wide, amazing selfie with the best camera on the device. You can pre-order Pixel Fold starting today, and it'll ship next month. When you pre-order Pixel Fold, you'll also get a Pixel Watch on us. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of I.O.